Good morning, Simon. I'm Janet Vandegraaff, and here are our top stories tonight. The United Nations General Assembly is talking about complete nuclear disarmament, while the Security Council is talking about safeguards for non-nuclear states. Meanwhile, North Vietnam continues to seek support from communist countries, with either China or the USSR as likely prospects. The Soviet Union has consulted the Warsaw Pact, warning Czechoslovakia about further liberalization. In the USSR, Antonin Novotny, the president of Czechoslovakia, has stepped down. In related news, China and the USSR continuing the dispute over the Sino-Soviet border, China has started to slow down their own cultural revolution by keeping intellectuals under closed supervision, making sure they keep the communist ideals alive within them. In the United States, as the Tet Offensive loses momentum, protests over the war in Vietnam have begun to grow. The Senate has begun to discussions of the war effort, focusing on ramping up spending and presence in Vietnam. We go to Jim Dalyowski reporting on Capitol Hill. Jim? Thanks, Janet. The Senate's feeling a whole lot of pressure to pass the Fair Housing Act. With a unified African-American community at the forefront of this push, the stakes are high. It is doubtful the act will be passed. Both Southern Democrats and Republicans have largely opposed the act, citing high costs as the largest reason for opposition. I'll throw it back to you folks in Chicago. Thanks, Jim. The Chicago City Council is ramping up preparations for the Democratic National Convention and are particularly nervous about the possible unrest. Meanwhile, Bobby Kennedy made a huge announcement in the Senate. I, Robert F. Kennedy, do hereby announce my candidacy for President of the United States of America. The Democratic National Convention is trying to bridge an ideological divide between hippies and the establishment. Now that Bobby Kennedy has announced his candidacy, the party will have to consider a legitimate challenger to President Johnson. This all came after the president delivered a rousing speech to the DNC in an attempt to gather the convention's unwavering support. The president and the White House have yet to comment on Kennedy's announcement. Domestic unrest in France continues as economic turmoil stemming from inflation has fueled frustration with President de Gaulle. The International Court of Justice has begun preparing witnesses on the case deciding who has rights to resources on the North Atlantic continental sea shelf. That's all for now. I'm Janet Vandergraaff. Good night.